Hello everyone and welcome tonight. I'm Joyce Whitman and I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! My blog's name is stampinscrapper.com and you can also find me on Pinterest, Stampin' Scrapper, Instagram, Stampin' underscore Scrapper, and of course on Facebook. Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you guys are having a great night. It's another rainy day in Ohio. Oh my goodness! I am so done with the rain. I just want nice sun just for two days so they can stain my deck and then I can use it. Yay! I wanted to let you know tonight I've got a cute little um, project for you. I'm going to go a little bit faster um, tonight just because. Hi, Francis. So glad you could join me. Um, I'm being a little selfish tonight. My daughter's here from Texas, so I want to go spend time with her. So I just have a cute little project to make with you tonight. Hi, Brittany. So glad you could join. Hi, Dan. Nice that you could join us tonight. Well, this is the cute little holder we're going to make. How cute is that? It's a little coffee cup. Guess what's in it? Okay, now I always say this wrong. Ferrero Rocher, maybe? Is that right? But anyways, they're yummy. Hazelnut, they're not yummy. But we're going to make a little holder for these. Now, when I do my classes, I always make a little um, treat for them to, as a thank you gift. And, of course, it always has chocolate in it. Well, this is the one I made on last Friday at my card monthly card class. And the stamp set that we used was Sailing Home. Hi! And when I do, sailing, when I do my, card, my monthly card class, what I do is I pick out a stamp set and then I make three cards using that set so that I can show different ways to use the same set that you can make many different projects out of it. So um, one of the cards was on my blog today and then I'll have the other two over the next week or so. Um, but this is one that um, we're going to use and I wanted to keep with the theme. Because, you know, using the sailing home and everything. So I wanted to stay in the theme. So I used the thanks. Whoops, my lights are glaring. The thanks right here for it. And then I used our beautiful designer series paper. This is called Come Sail Away Designer Series Paper. Look at the beautiful um, paper. I love this for masculine cards. I actually, one of the cards that we made, I gave to Mark for Father's Day yesterday. And um, it was funny because he goes, sailing? And I said, hey, number one, masculine cards are sometimes hard to make. Number two, I thought you might be getting sick of golf cards because every year I make them a golf card. So I said, I thought you might want something different. So that's what I did. Um, isn't it gorgeous? I agree, Francis. It is gorgeous. I just, there's not one piece in here that I do not like. So we're going to use... On this one, whoops, let me put my catalog on it. On this one, I used this one right here, and then I did stripes here. But for tonight, we're going to use this one right here, the little lighthouses, and we're going to just use navy blue as the for the handle here. So we're going to go ahead and let's get started. Oh, one thing I did want to point out was that next week there will not be um, a Facebook Live. I am going to go on vacation with my family, um, so we I'm going to be taking off next Monday. So, and I also wanted to show you the products that come in this beautiful suite. We have our stamp set, then we have our framelits that are absolutely gorgeous, and the seaside, um, which caught, oh, embossing folder, let me show a better picture. I should have grabbed those, I apologize. I was trying to quickly get things together because, like I said, I'm being selfish and spending time with my daughter. Um, here it is. It's called High Seas. Um, that's not a very good picture of it. Where? Let me find. What did I do with that card? Let me see. Okay, here is the card that I had on my blog today, so you'll be able to see it. Let's see if I can show you better on here. Okay. There you can kind of see the background. It looks like um, waves, but I used it. And this is a card that I made um, for my class, and it is on my blog today. It has all the directions on how to make it. 
But here we had used two of the beautiful designer series paper. The anchor, I used the Baker twine that's in, that's in the um, suite. And I also used a framelist to cut out the wheel. And also in there are the trinkets. Now I do want to let you know that the trinkets, I just looked them up. And let me find them in here. They are back ordered until the middle of July. So we will not have those available right now. Of course, when I want them, I can't find them right away. Here they are, but they are adorable. They have the anchors and the wheel too on here. Just gorgeous. So, well, let's go ahead and get our project started today. So what you're gonna to need to start off with is a three by five piece of designer series paper. And this is um, scrap to do my, on the bottom, we need to, whoops, I'm doing this backwards. So I changed the colors. Okay, this is going to be for my one and three eighths inch um, scallop punch. I went ahead and already picked, punched out one and a quarter inch circles um, with for the bottom here and on the inside of this. And to let you know the one and a quarter inch um, punch is discontinued, but you can use one from the circle framelits. And then I have scrap paper to do my sign, my stamping right here. And then this is going to be the handle. And this is cut at three fourths inch. You know what, and I think I cut mine at a half. Nope, it should be a half by two and a quarter. Sorry, I cut mine at a half. Maybe I cut mine at three quarters, let's look here. I was thinking I cut it at a half inch today. I did. I did a half inch and I did a half inch on this one too. So I will make sure that when I do my post, oh yes it is. It's one half inch by two and a half inches. I was looking at the wrong um, notes here. Okay, so let's get started. And like I said, this is going to be a really easy but fun project. My first thought of that was for this when I saw this online. I saw the um, little coffee cup. I thought of Christmas time. Wouldn't that be so cute to use Christmas paper on and have sitting? Okay, so what you wanna do, this is not laying flat, there we go. What you wanna do on your designer series paper. Now, one thing you wanna make sure is if you are doing um, paper that's directional like mine is, you wanna make sure that the five inch is at the top and your three inch is going to be at the design at the side so your design is going up and down. So on our five inch side, because this is designer series paper, we're going to use our little, uh, I mean our bigger end, not the little end. We're gonna score this at three fourths inch, one and a half, two and a quarter, three inch, three and three fourths, and four and a half. And then we're gonna turn it on the side and we're gonna score this at three fourths and two and a quarter. And it's three fourths inch from each end. So it doesn't matter, but you just wanna make sure when you're doing, you're cutting it, you're cutting your five inch is going to be the length of it so that you don't have your design going the wrong way. Okay, so now we're gonna do some cutting. Because this paper is like, I'm, I usually don't burnish before I cut, but this paper is really light in color. And so I am going to go ahead and do that because with my lights also on, it's very hard for me to see. So we'll go ahead and do this. Okay, so now all of these are three fourths inch apart except for this bottom one this last one here and that's the one we want to cut so what we're going to do is we want to cut this top tab right here off but i also want to cut a little bit of this so it folds in better so we're going to cut it kind of at an angle and then cut this and we're going to do the exact same thing over here i'm going to cut it at a little bit of an angle and then i'm going to cut it here 
Okay, then on the bottom, what you want to do is you want to cut, even um, burnishing it, it's hard for me to see it on this paper. You know, it's in your, that's what the pretty on the back, too. Okay, I think, there we go. I'm going to go like this. There, now I can see it better. I'm just folding it up and putting my scissors there. It's going to be the bottom, so it's not that we don't have to have it exact. Close, but not exact if need be. And with this paper, like I said, it's really light colored, and so is with my lights. It almost looks white in here. Okay, so I got those cut. So what we want to do is on this top, this is going to be our top. Remember, keep looking. We're going to do the part that's folded down in here. Let me see if I can take this out. Ah, there we go. Okay, so see how I have, oh, let's see if I can get that so you guys can see it. See how I have fold this at edge over? That's what I'm going to do now. So I want to fold this over, but we're going to do it a little bit different. I want to show you a little trick. We're going to take our tear and tape because we do want this to be strong. So we're going to take it and we're going to put it on the top edge here because when we put it down, we don't want this flapping up when they go to pull their product out. And one of my customers cannot have nuts. So what I did was I also will fit um, a, um, all those truffles. Lint truffles will also fit perfect in here too. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold this down. You know what? Let me go ahead and get the tape on here too. You want to flip it over and you want to do this side. And this time I'm going to put it near the crease because I want to make sure it stays tight on that fold. And whoops, do that. Okay, so let's do this part first. We're gonna take this off, so it's sticking. It's on the top layer. There we go. Okay, now, here's a little trick. When you fold this down, go ahead and fold it all down, except stop at this last line here. Do not put this together yet. You wanna stop here, so go ahead and press it, and then we're going to take the tape off this one. And we're going to bring this one and we're going to bring it around. Let me move it up to the camera. So we're going to bring it around and we're going to put it in here. You're going to line it up. And I'm not pushing down on it until I get it exactly where I want it. Line it up. And then you can press it. And now you can't see that tab anywhere. You can't see it inside. You can't see it outside. And now everything is sealed. So now I go in here and I just do a little pressing to make sure it's down nice and tight. And then I go back in and I squeeze these a little bit like this just to make sure I keep my crease that I have on here because I want to make sure I keep my shape. Now, I need my liquid glue for the next part. We're all done with the tear and tape. So we're going to use a little bit of all the adhesives, I think. So, okay, we can put that back. Now we're going to use our um, liquid glue. Ouch. Okay, it's sticky. Okay. Now what I want to do is my seam, let's find our seam. My seam is right here. So I want that towards the back. So this section is going to be my last section that I'm going to put down because this is going to be the front of my box. So I'm going to go ahead and put tape, not tape, glue right here. And you're going to lay it down and you're going to put this one across it. And you just want to hold it for just a second because the liquid glue takes a minute, not a minute, just a couple seconds for it to hold, put together. See how it's holding? Whoops. If I didn't move it, it would have been holding. Okay, come on, stay together. There. So now I'm going to, let's do this. Maybe if I put my finger in here. Isn't it amazing when you do a trial run how it always 
it stays together no problem and then you go to do it on your Facebook live and it doesn't stick the way it's supposed to okay all right so now remember we still have this is the last one we want to do so we're going to do this one and we're going to put a little bit of glue on that one and we're going to put this down now this one's easier to hold down just because you have that one underneath so see how I'm putting that down come on camera focus and you want to kind of keep these lined up because we want to keep our shape so you want to keep those pieces lined up okay and now we're going to do our last one now on our last one I want to make sure This one, I always wanted to make sure it adheres well. So I put glue on both of them. But you're going to want to make sure you put your front one down last. Oops. Okay, so then I'm just going to flip it. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to tap it down. And that's going to help hold that in place. Then, this is where our two circles come in handy. This, you want to keep it, you know, I want to put one on the bottom because I want it to look nice. So I'll go ahead and put one on the bottom. But then one thing I noticed the first time I made one of these, so I put that on the bottom, and I went in here, and I did a tap, tap, tap again. But see what's happening? I don't know if you can see. It's lifting up because there's glue in there. And I'm thinking to myself, well, I don't want that. They'll never get their snack a little treat out so what I did is I went ahead and I made a second one and I just squirted glue in here I scooted it put it right in here because I didn't want it to go on the side like if I dropped it it went on the side of the cup I didn't want to do that so I put it in close this up and tap 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 and I want to make sure that's still lined up perfect perfect now there's no glue sticky here looks nice and neat finish and no sticky inside perfect so now we're going to take our strip now again this is a half inch by two and a half inches and i'm going to curve it see how it kind of curves here well i want to help the paper do that because it'd be really stiff if i tried to do that with um just turning it this way so what I want you to do is you're going to curl one end this way. We're going to give it the curl. I'm doing the curl that's going in here. And then the other one, I'm going to curl out just a little bit. So see, it's already now, the paper's ready to go the way I want it. So again, now you could do, I'm going to try this. I use glue on this one, but you know what I wanted to try? I'm going to try glue dots. Let's see how it adheres with glue dots. This might be a good thing. This might not be a bad thing. Let's try it. Okay, so let's find my seam back again. Here's my seam. So I want to make sure that I'm putting it on the side. So I go two squares over is what I do. Not squares, I guess a rectangle. And I'm going to put, how far down did I put that? Okay, I put it down probably, I want to say a half inch down. You know what? No, that's not what I did. I tried that the first time. Let me correct myself. Let me put it on this end, and I put the bottom on first. The first time I tried that, I put the top part here down first, but then I was too short here. So that's right. I remember now. I put the bottom on first because then I knew it lined up where I wanted it. Then we're going to come in here, and we're going to turn this around. And you just bend it because it's already ready to go because we already – Loosen the fibers. I'm just centering it on this panel right here. So I'm trying to center it, got it centered, and I'm going to squeeze it down. And I'm just kind of loosely bending it so it will be right where we need it. And look at you made a cute little cup. How cute is that? And you know, if you wanted a bigger cup, we could increase the sizes. Oh, that gives me some thinking. I might have to do that, make some more of these bigger. But these are adorable, cute. Okay, so I always give them a thank you gift. So I wanted to use thanks. So I'm using 
the things right here out of the sailing home stamp set. I'm gonna take a piece of white paper and I'm gonna use the balmy blue ink today. And we're gonna go ahead and just stamp this. And because I'm gonna punch it out, you don't have to be perfect. Oh, don't like that. Let's try that again. If you don't like it, turn it over and re-stamp it. Much nicer. Okay, so we're gonna put that over there because again, I forgot to get out my chamois cloth. I'm doing really good tonight, aren't I? Okay, now again, I'm using the one in the quarter inch punch, but um, um, what you call it, you can use a circle framelit if you want to, but I had to make a bunch of these, so I was going the easy way and I was using a punch. And then what I do, is I'm going to take my Knight of Navy and I'm going to use the one and three inch scallop um, punch for the mat of this. Thanks. Oh, thank you, Brittany. Oh, Francis, that is the best compliment you can ever give me is casing one of my projects. That just warms my heart when people tell me they're doing that. That is the best compliment you can give me. So I'm just adhering this on with snail adhesive, nothing spectacular. And then I just took one dimensional, put it in the middle, take that off, and we put that on the front. But yes, I put it right across from the handle, and I centered it on here, and voila. There you go, and you can drop, that's the one that came out of there, drop that in here, and you could even, if you wanted to, now I thought this would be cute on a Christmas one, if they, um, I know they always come in gold, but if we could find some kind of candy like this that had white, wouldn't that look cute, and it would look like it had whipped cream on the top, how cute would that be? I'm on and out, I'm looking out for that, I'm going to start looking now. But that would be so cute. But you just push it down, and there you go. You have an adorable little cup holder for your candy. Isn't that cute? And so easy. And what is nice is because this is three by five, so you can get eight of these out of one 12 by 12 sheet. How nice is that? So that's good to know, too. If you have any questions, just let me know. I will have all the measurements and everything for this project on my blog, stampinscrapper.com, on Wednesday. And I apologize, last week I told you I would have them on Wednesday, but I forgot I was involved in a blog hop and that went live on Wednesday. So it was on Friday if you want the directions for my project that I did last week. Um, but also, reminder, I will not be doing Facebook Live next week because we are going to have some vacation time as a family. And um, my retreat is filling up fast, so if you want to come to that, I really hope you can join us. Make sure you check out the information, again, on stampinscrapper.com. Just search Holiday Extravaganza, and that information will come up. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And if you could be so kind as to share this post, I would appreciate it. You guys have a great evening, and there you go. Let's turn this way so you can see. And there you go. Bye-bye. Love you. Mwah.